Hello and welcome to another video. So today I want to talk about a problem with my Tesla Model 3 that I just noticed over Labor Day weekend. So, all right, so I just washed it. There's a lot of bug stains on the front bumper that there's nothing I can do about it. Some rock chips, things like that. I don't have a clear bra installed, so hey, that's permanent and it's there to stay. But hey, I plan to keep this car for a long time and I'm not worried about the sales value of this car. Okay, so what I wanna to talk to you guys about today is the visor clip issue. It's a very common issue in the Tesla. I didn't know until this weekend. So what happened is I saw my fiance struggling to pull the visor off the clip. And I saw her sort of, you know, what I felt like was she was grabbing the clip to pull and she tugged and tugged and boom, clip. Here we go. So this is a fairly common issue with the Tesla Model 3. The visor clip, which is still attached here. It just snaps right off, right? And so you see the plastic piece right there which is supposed to be attached there and it breaks and it's a pretty thin plastic so I'll take it off here and show you and there's a screw in there there's a screw right there with a little hex sort of uh, screwdriver that would open that it's a long screw that goes in there except this plastic circle here ring here where the screw goes into is quite weak and these clips, these visor clips snap right off. I've had my car for one year. It's mostly garage kept. So it really hasn't had issues with, you know, overheating the cabin, etc. And, um, you know, it's just under a normal use scenario. I don't think she was actually grabbing the clip and pulling because as soon as I searched Tesla Model 3 visor clip, I found, you know, hundreds of people complaining about how these clips are coming off. Some people are getting their car actually delivered with these clips broken. Um, so I've made a service appointment for clip replacement. Now that's my problem here. I don't mind that this clip broke. You know, I can get a screw driver, open up the screw, go to a Tesla sh shop's part, buy this clip, for probably about five bucks, 10 bucks, whatever, put it back on. And it will take me about an hour to drive, get the thing, put it back on, right? Three minutes to take it off and put it back on. Don't have a problem with these braking. I can fix it. It's an easy fix. My problem is you can't buy a clip. So I went to the parts catalog. I looked up the part number. You know, I can put the part number in my description if you want it, but what's the point, right? You can't buy it. So, you know, Tesla, they have service centers. You should be able to go and just buy a clip from them. Technically, this should be covered under warranty. I'm not sure what will happen because I did make a mobile service appointment at an, and I don't know if they're gonna charge me for it. But this should be covered under warranty. My car has a full bumper to bumper warranty for what, four years, 50,000 miles or whatever. I bought it in June, 2019. So whatever warranty applied back then. So it should be covered under warranty. I mean, it's not like we tugged it off or anything. We were just taking the visor off the clip and it just came right off. So, you know, it obviously, you know, it might be free with the mobile service, but I'm willing to pay for it. I don't want to waste my time having a mobile service guy come into my car. And with COVID too, I don't want random people coming into my car, but you know, I'm going to have to let them in to fix this because that's the only way um that's so that's my problem i mean it's a great company great car all that stuff but just freaking you know sell the commonly um broken parts at your shops and this is one of them and you already know right um tesla already knows and i think they've also changed the design already on the clips because some people got delivered the wrong clip it must be the newer design uh, but it won't fit into our trim, the older trim, because as you can see here, uh, the the clip almost perfectly fits right there. So if it's a longer clip, 
which the so one person received like a longer clip. It won't oh, it, you know, you have to like, it won't fit there because of that bump. So they've already fixed this issue. So given that they know it's a known problem, you know, it's very easy to produce extra of these and just have them available in store. Um, there are plenty of things in the Tesla Model 3, uh, Model O, Model S's, X's, and even the new cars that they will know have, uh, you know, less integrity and higher breakage. And, you know, they keep track of this information, so they should be able to easily have these items available and produce extra and have them available for replacement and just sell them, you know. Uh, they'll probably save themselves quite a bit of money by not having a mobile tech come out to change a clip out like this. Um, I think in the past, to some customers, they have mailed it out. Um, given that it's under warranty, I do understand the benefit of um, of uh, the mobile tech doing it. I won't have to buy the clip. I won't have to get a hex screwdriver for that particular screw. So I understand all those conveniences, but I'd rather fix it myself. In any case, uh, this weekend I did about a thousand, well, maybe like 600 miles. Um, I didn't pay anything to charge. Uh, I mean, I paid some to charge at home and charge at my parents' home, but I went hiking and um, apparently, I didn't know this, but that uh, state park, Crowder's Mountain State Park, had a uh, EV charging station. And I plugged it in. I was there for three and a half, four hours and got, you know, 130, 140 miles back. So got some of my charging done for free. So, hey, just because you go on a road trip doesn't mean you have to supercharge. Uh, in fact, most of my road trips, I try not to supercharge because it's just a waste of time. Uh, so if you don't have to, you don't need to. Anyways, I did post some uh, drone video from my Crowder's Mountain Summit Point, you know, time there. I spent like about a half an hour, 45 minutes there just enjoying a lunch. And I shot some drone footage and then we came down um, to a fully charged Tesla Model 3 and drove back and drove around town shopping and seeing friends and whatnot. Uh, we had a good time. In any case, so this is my video about the Tesla Model 3 uh, visor clip that breaks and breaks easy, but not an easy replacement. So thank you for watching. Like, subscribe and comment and I'll be happy to respond. I will make another video once it's fixed or if they mail me a clip.